Thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel Mann. Christina has the night off. Rising costs and staffing shortages have been detrimental to emergency dispatchers around the state. Smaller departments or ones in house without in house dispatchers are the ones feeling the impacts the most. In Addison County, the sheriff's office is exploring their options. They had to increase their costs, so we just wanted to see what we'd be able to do. Addison County Sheriff Michael Elmore says the fee to continue using Rutland County dispatchers would be going up 35 percent, a cost the department can't afford. As a result, they reached out to the Middlebury Police Department. We decided to do a three-month trial period with them to see if we'd be able to work out uh, using them as our dispatch. Right now, Elmore and Middlebury Police Thanks Chief Tom Hanley say it's going well. Hanley says this isn't the first time they've been asked to take on additional departments, but it is the first time it's been feasible. We're uh, simply handling the radio traffic. Um, you know, they're not a first response agency, so we're not taking calls for complaints or things like that. Hanley says it's usually smaller departments facing challenges with dispatching. Most rely on the Department of Public Safety. I mean, Bristol just has two or three officers. For Jens has maybe six. Uh, not a lot of resources to, to pay a lot of money for dispatching. In a report released by the Department of Public Safety at the end of 2022, it says restructuring of the state dispatch system to a regional one is overdue. But if they're going to move forward with it, it needs to be done correctly, including updated technology and infrastructure. Because of the staffing, the funding, uh, the more you can pull the resources together, then the cheaper and more cost effective it'll be. There's a lot that has to be done. There's a lot of engineering and a lot of studies that have to go on. It's just not as simple a matter of saying, let's pick up you know, a couple of extra agencies and, and do that for them. Uh, I reached out to the Department of Public Safety to discuss dispatch issues the state is facing and what their plan is. A spokesperson told me no one had time to speak with me, but they're working on the issue. They say last year the legislature allocated $11 million towards dispatch challenges, but there is no plan for how it will be spent.